I remember the birds. Flowers. Life before all this. Before everything changed. Hi, this is Renegade GTA signing in. Um, I'm back after a long hiatus. I was just taking a break, guys. What's up? Hope you're doing well in the new 2012. Hopefully, we make it to 2013. Um, today, I showed you guys a trailer of a movie called uh, Gate 128, being made in North Carolina. Um, it's being directed by a guy named Henry Siro. I hope I said that right. <laughs> I'll show you the other videos, Henry. <laughs> um, He's worked as a uh, freelance videographer, editor, um, studied Bachelor of Science in Film at uh, Full Sail University, K and works at uh, K2 Production Film and Video Office Manager in North Carolina. Uh, for this film, they're waiting for a new camera, which is called the Scarlet X, uh, to hopefully film with. It's a newer camera, but it's similar to ones used on big budget like Hollywood uh, movies like District 9, Book of Eli, and the upcoming Hobbit films. Uh, the plot synopsis for this film is about a mysterious place promising the salvation from the extinction of the female population, uh, drawing two struggling survivors in a post-apocalyptic world. Um, Rose, one of the characters, is the last known female survivor, and her protector, Camillo, must finish their dangerous journey across the apocalyptic world um, towards the impending relief of Gate 128. Gate 128 also is a sanctuary to provide protection and like a cure for like the virus, uh, responsible for killing the female population off. Um, stands alone as a beacon of hope for like any of the survivors who are still alive and that's what they were going to you know go to that place and everything um, but not everyone like trusts the gate um, what lies behind the gate uh, men who adapted to the new world uh, live off the weary survivors committed to reaching relief um, also working on this production is a guy named Josh Bean um, his main role is, is scoring the film, uh, he already did like some of the music that they've been writing for it, uh, and once it's filmed, uh, he'll complete that score during the post-production. Um, they'll also be screening this online, so it'll be, uh, free viewing on YouTube, and, um, they'll also have DVDs pressed too. Um, he's also done other duties, like assisted with the casting and, um, and other somewhat, some smaller things, and they'll do some tasks on set during the filming as well, like, um, like, I was talking to Josh Bean on Facebook, and, like, when I asked him about, like, all his responsibilities and stuff, um, like, you know, I respect what he's doing and realize it's a lot of work. <laughs> I'm glad I'm making this video for you guys. <laughs> uh, the impact is that he hopes that people feel leaving a connection with his characters and, you know, within his world. Um, he also wants viewers to leave satisfied, but with questions flooding in their head. Um, this project has been in his mind for several years and now has finally come together to be filmed. And it will be filmed regardless of like whatever funds they do receive, but every bit helps the production tremendously. <laughs> um, what he needs and what they need to get on their goal. Um, for the Indiegogo, they're trying to raise uh, 1500 The amount raised will go towards the following. Equipment rental, paying a cast and crew, locations, uh, meals for each day, and shooting. Like their meal budget. <laughs> that That's expensive too. Uh, the project will definitely be shot, regardless of meeting the allotted goal or not. Um, once completed, they will 
the project will be sent out like worldwide to producers all over and film festivals in the hope of gaining some rewards awards and a rec recognition. Um, if you're interested in helping, uh, everything and anything helps. Um, they know that times are like really tough and everyone is working very hard to, um, to have just enough to get by. But if you're starting to get behind this, like on this project, um, and want to see a f nice quality short film, um, please help them out by like a donation. That I know I will because I want to get a copy. Sounds interesting. But, yeah, I stand by it. <laughs> or simply forward this page to your friends and family on Facebook and stuff. Um, and keep checking back for their weekly blog updates and pre-production stills. Um, I believe they have also a YouTube page for that and also post like a link in the description below. Um, let's see. Also, if, uh, I just want to give a shout out to, um, one of my good YouTube friends. They're called, uh, Donkey Chewing Horror. Um, they're great at, like, their horror channel and they scare me so much. But it's all good and it's all in good fun, really. And they really are nice people when I talk to them. Uh, check them out also. I'll post a link. Um, let's see. Sorry guys, I'm just getting back into this. Like to know, but if you like to know more about like their movie, I'll visit their Facebook like page for like their updates. And if you want to check out their Indiegogo, that um, again they're trying to raise like 1,500. There's about like 70 days left, <laughs> and they have extra perks just for donating. Um, that's all the time I have for today. Uh, this is Renegade DTA signing out.